Surviving infidelity posted by KellerDog56 What am I supposed to do here? I posted the other day but deleted it because truth hurts I guess. I should give a little backstory here that I left out of my first post. My wife and I had been in a long drawn out fight for a month because of some communication issues on my end. It all blew up when she told me that she was trying to find a reason not to come home. When I asked her what she meant, she said she was thinking of ways to kill herself. I had no answer. I didn't know what to say so I froze. I stood there like an idiot and let my wife believe that I didn't care if she lived or died. I think that was her breaking point and I'm ashamed that I wasn't there when she needed me the most. Now we're here, my, 34M, wife, 33F, cheated on me with. Her, 19M, co-worker. I had my suspicions when she told me she was going away with her, F, high school friend for the weekend. Sunday comes and she's back home with me and the kids. Also, we live in a multi-generational home with her mom and grandmother. Anyway, I see her texting someone all say long. Little smiles make it obvious it's a dude. I brushed it off at first but my gut feeling got the better of me. Monday morning I checked her smartwatch and read all the messages. It devastated me. I asked her if there was someone else, she said no and made me feel crazy for thinking it. I asked her who Buji was and she told me a female co-worker. I knew she was lying but I wanted to believe otherwise. I left work early and she came home to talk to me, still denied it. That night we had sex. And it was amazing. Tricked myself briefly into thinking I was wrong. Still couldn't sleep. The next day I told her I read her messages and she finally came clean. We cried together and I though that was it and we were on to rebuild our life. Things were good the rest of the day. We looked into each other's eyes and smiled bigger than I can rent it doing for the last few months. The next day I saw her texting again. I wrote it off as her talking to her friends. Then Friday rolls around and she tells me she's running up to the mall after work to grab a few things. I say okay, see you soon. Something didn't feel right but I let it go. When she got home she went straight to bed. I followed and we talked a little. Then I asked her how many times she'd been with him. She said once. She lied. The next night we took the kids camping. She drove separate because she had a few errands to run. She got to the campground and we settled in and had a good time. Then I could tell she was texting him again. So I asked her about it and she blew up on me. Told me I was crazy. Then she left me and the kids to go home. Sunday morning I packed up the campsite and went home. We talked, apologized to each other and tried to make the best of Father's Day. That night I looked through her messages on her watch again. She deleted them off her phone but not the watch. I saw everything. Friday night she was with him. At his parents' house BC he's a freaking teenager. I had a panic attack from all the lies. Checked into the ER for some dark thoughts. She left work to come sit by my side. Cried, profusely. Apologized. She doesn't know that I know about Friday. We're both seeing counselors. She's been on antidepressants and I just stated taking anxiety meds. Last couple of days have been okay, but now she keeps bringing up me not being there and years of communication problems. But it's like a switch. One minute she's caring, loving, attentive. The woman I married. The next she's angry, bitter and resentful. It's like she's two different people. Has anyone experienced infidelity and mental illness? I want to move forward and try to heal our family. I'm just so lost and hurt. Anyway, sorry for the long post. Thanks for and advice. Now let's see top comments claustrophobic comments tell that poor child's parents and get a divorce. She slept with someone that should be considered a child too. You. Imagine if the roles were reversed, you'd be a pervert, your family would shun you, it would be a problem. You don't deserve this, you're 33, not 67 and even if you were if she can't appreciate a 33 year old over a 19 year old, she's the one with problems. If you choose to stay, no things will most likely not get better as the trust is gone and you can never unsee her with a 19 year old. Fun open minded 8907 says she's like that because she is busy fucking you and him. And you keep on letting her get away with it. She's cheating. She's lying. And she is not stopping. Hopeful future 40 comments for the love of God, find some self respect. You ignored her red flags as if they don't matter to you and despite knowing everything you are standing here as if nothing happened. You seriously need to work on yourself and think once before you do something. Let us know what you guys think about this situation in the comments. Please like share and subscribe if you like our content.